So, my previous video was about my lightest everyday carry setup, which was this stuff right here. Tornox Cadet, Cold Steel Scimitar, CKR, CRKT, Minimalist, Wallet, Keys. Um, oh, and my light, which I, which I carry in my pack. Now, uh, today, or in, today, in this update video, I'm going to show my regular everyday carry, which is medium heavy. And it's this, this guy right here. I uh, use the Max Position M2 Waste Pack. Total a lot of my stuff. Now, before, I wasn't, I wasn't really carrying this a lot. You know, I, it was just kind of a pain. I don't frequently wear a belt. It has that belt strap, and it jostled, and then I'd have to take it, take it off to get in the car and go anywhere, and then put it back on because it, it was uncomfortable against my seat belt, and it was really a pain in the butt. So, what I did, I thought, was pretty simple and uh, brilliant, in my opinion. I put this strap on it. I simply put some cordage through the belt loop, like so. And now I can sling it over my shoulder, which is really convenient, so I can just grab it and go. Sling it over my shoulder, don't have to thread it onto a belt every morning, because I don't frequently wear a belt. So that's nice. Uh, I like that a lot. A lot, a lot. And we're today, in this video, we're going to go over what's inside it. This is an addition to all of this stuff. Like, this is the lightest I go. The heavy, heavier carry is this plus this. Just clarifying. Okay, so... I don't need to go over again my items previously previously um, revealed in my earliest video but if you didn't see that video Cold Steel Scimitar Columbia River Knife and Tool Minimalist Bowie Keys Wallet Cadet Streamlight MicroStream. <coughs> I'll just go over the additions, additional objects. Okay. To my Victorinox Cadet, I figured out that I could take this lanyard that, that went to my Streamlight MicroStream and hang it out of my pocket for easier access so that I don't have to go fishing through my pockets, which frequently contain other things like cash and change and junk. I can just pull it out without having to worry about spilling my entire pocket full of stuff. Which is really convenient, so I just thought of that today. I'm going to try it out. It's experimental. Don't know how I like it. We'll see how I like it. That was just uh, one thing. One just thing. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Uh, first of all, it's pretty small. As you can see, it's, it's about the size. It's smaller than my hand, so it doesn't. It's not abrasive at all. It doesn't stick out a whole bunch. Um, I mean, it's kind of thick, but you know, it's it's better than a lot of things. And to have the stuff on you is just so nifty when you need it. I mean, if you don't need it, it's it's not too much to carry. Okay, first of all, a pen. It's a crappy cheap pen. There are a lot of guys who are pen Nazis that um like the super awesome cool pens. I'm not one of them. It's a pen. It's black. It works. Then a pencil. I prefer mechanical pencils. I prefer higher quality mechanical pencils because lower quality mechanical pencils break on you all the time. At least they do on me. I prefer pencils to pens as well. Though I carry a pen for signing things. <clears throat> and of course in this convenient... I love how Maxpedition... Oh, this is the Maxpedition M2 Waste Pack, in case I didn't mention it. I love how Max Vision included these versatile um, little utility holsters for pens, pencils, flashlights, things of a small, cylindrical, long nature. I really enjoy that. Um, when I, actually, when I was in when I was in high school, I was thinking, man, I really wish I had a a pencil sheath. 
because it used to be so useful instead of, you know, you lose pencils all the time, drop them, lend them, you know, they roll off the desk, or maybe when you're in the hallway, you just, it just falls out of your pocket, because they're uncomfortable to keep in your pocket because they'll stab you, but uh, these pencil sheaths on both sides, that's that's brilliant, kudos, Maxpedition. I like to keep my Streamlight MicroStream in that little area. Okay, moving on. In this pocket, it's kind of tight. I normally have to get it with two hands. There we go. It's not excessively... Okay, maybe excessively. I'll work on it. My first aid kit. It's an Altoids kit. I labeled it for convenience of others. If others are using this and not myself. And it is stuck on there good. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, first thing you'll notice in my first aid kit is this this tampon. Okay, I have I have a lot of friends that are girls, so that's why I have a tampon in my first aid kit. This particular one I picked off off of my friend. She um, it was just like laying on her floor, and I was like, hey, can I put this in my first aid kit? She said, sure. Uh, I don't want to be around a woman when she's bleeding and doesn't have a tampon. So, emergency tampon. I hang out with a lot of girls. Uh, then you'll notice these batteries, which are obviously not for any first aid purposes, but for um, a flashlight, in case I need batteries. The battery runs out. I have them on me. It's convenient to keep in here, because it keeps everything organized. This is Lopermide Band-Aids, you know, real basic stuff. Oh, uh, I'll have an entire separate review. Uh, this, is, this is the most frequently used thing in my first aid kit, is Pepto-Bismol pills. I get stomach aches sometimes, semi-frequently. And I have tape on here if I n really am desperate for tape. I need to put tape something up under there. I'm not sure what, though. Oh, I have, I have, um, medical medical tape. Really cheap first aid kit medical tape. That also goes in there. Okay. And I keep that in this front pocket, which is originally a cell phone pocket, but my cell phone's too small and it's irritating to fish out of that pocket. So I keep my first aid kit in there instead. Mm, One-handed reviews are fun. Never done this before. In the main pocket, the thing sits on top for right now until I can figure out a better way to organize it is my asthma inhaler. Yeah, I'm asthmatic. That's cool. Inside the main compartment as well is a small moleskin notepad with perforated pages. I like that because I can rip page out and give somebody some information. Maybe my email address or something. Mm. Okay. In this internal organization pocket, I keep small uh, Gerber mini paraframe. Just a small simple utility knife. I like it a lot. Pretty cool. Worth ugh, worth having, especially if it was a gift. Uh, it's small. I could I can trash on it if I want to, if I need a knife I need to thrash on. But it's, it's still pretty elegant and nice, actually. I actually enjoy it a lot. Let's see what else we got in there. Also, in that same pocket is a flash drive. Uh, I use this a lot in school. A data stick sport. It is water resistant up to two meters and shock resistant also up to two meters. Uh, that's excellent. Oh my goodness. It's 16 gigs. I don't want to mess around. If I want to transfer a video or something or if I need big files transferred, um, I wanted 16 gigs. It was expensive. 60 bucks. Really expensive for flash drive, but it was worth it. It'll probably significantly decrease in value as time goes by, so one day you may be able to get these for 15 bucks. Who knows? But, um, I wanted it. I got it. I love it. Statistics port. Moving on. <clears throat> A lighter with the chimney removed. I don't normally use lighters. But when I, I do, I like to remove the chimney uh, because it produces a better flame, in my opinion. 
Uh, you know, if some of my friends smoke. I don't smoke personally. But uh, some of my friends smoke, and it's good It's good to have fire starting capabilities. You know, you get lost or whatever, right? Uh, an Advil pill container that contains uh, several pills, written down in the back of my moleskin booklet. It contains ibuprofen tablets that are generic, uh, regular Advil tablets, and uh, Tylenol for my friend who is allergic to ibuprofen. I also have a small red zip tie that I found lying around. Nifty. Never know. I need to add duct tape to this entourage. Uh, a knife sharpener. I just freed up some space by taking out my glasses cleaning kit. Because I realized I never used my glasses cleaning kit. As you can, I have glasses. This is me. It's my, my face. Um... So, uh, it's just so bulky. I never used it, so... Plus, it's getting empty. The little tin's empty. I might might get another one if it, if it actually uses... Or if I uh, actually find myself needing it. I needed it for a while because I had a, a job doing sheetrock stuff. They got my glasses real dirty. Uh, some, some drink mixes. Uh, a lot of time, water fountain water doesn't taste very good. It, it just doesn't. So, I got drink mixes. Are convenient. Let's see what else is up in there. One, well, the last thing that's in there is my Leatherman Juice. I'll be doing a separate review. Nothing Fancy does a good review on it if you want to check it out. Um, my review probably won't be here for a while. I'd like to test it more before I review it. And so that's everything that's in the bag. The bag itself is real small, compact, so if you feel insecure about carrying a man purse. I used to carry this great big huge Max Edition bag. It was cumbersome so I, I downsized. Uh, this isn't bad. It looks like a camera bag. I sometimes use my camera. I'll, I'll switch the first aid kit to the main compartment, which then the main compartment gets a little jammed, but, but uh, then I can put my camera in there and that's really convenient. I've never seen this strap idea with this particular bag. I've ne I, that's, that's, or any camera bag. Um, adding a strap. I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to get it. This is a goofy blue color. I'm a, it's just all there was at Home Depot. can't believe Home Depot didn't have like regular nylon rope, but um, I'm going to change that when I can. I, I don't have paracord. Other things are more important, you know, like buying food and college and all that good stuff. So, uh, In addition to that, I sometimes carry a water bottle. Sometimes it's this metal one. Um, I ha I like this great Nalgene water bottle I have. It's a liter, but it doesn't fit in my bike rack water bottle holder, so that's really irritating. So I, I frequently carry this one while cycling. You know, this, that's also kind of cool because, you know, for, <laughs> this happened to me before. A dog came up to me and was chasing me, and I, I grabbed my water bottle and popped the dog on the head. I mean, I love animals, but when a dog's chasing you on a bike, you got to kind of pop him in the head. Anyway, so that's uh, that's actually that's actually it. First aid kit, flash drive, moleskin knife, medicine, inhaler. A lot of it's first aid, and then just really useful items for um, a college student. And uh, that's really not that much. It's just, it seems like a lot, but it's it's really not. It's really not a lot of stuff. Especially because all of that goes in there, so it really concentrates it and organizes it, and it doesn't seem like a lot. And then that put this in my pocket. That makes it, that's a large bulk. It makes it seem like a lot. That goes away. In my back pocket, front pocket. Oh, my phone. Where is where is my phone? My phone's on the charger right now. My phone also goes there phone typically goes in my front pocket. If I'm doing something where I'm going to get hot and sweaty, I put it in a special holster, but uh, other than that,